Okay guys, this is old grandpa again. Down here in a hot south southeast Texas area around Houston. And I'm gonna do the test that I've been trying to get Northern 35 to do for a while. He did do it, but when he did this setup with his uh, his analyzer direct hooked or hooked up uh, uh, using uh, oh, whatever the device is he uses to connect, he got some really errant results in reading his analyzer connected straight without a feed line. And uh, I'm here to show what I told him that I got before and I'm going to test it for you live if I can get it all on this camera. Uh, right now I've got, uh, there's my coax, my tuned coax that uh, I'm, I will use if I have time. But right now what this is, what these documents are written down here is my results that I got whenever I checked my analyzer against a dummy load. And up here at the top is where I check my VA1 with old batteries and I've hooked it direct to the uh, to the dummy load and I got 27205 and the results I mean I set it at 27205 and the results showed SWR of 1.15 value of X is plus 6 and the value of R is 46 then I put that cable that cable over there onto onto my uh, dummy load and analyzer 14.5 feet RG8X I think it's tuned for somewhere close to 27205 and I got uh, set my analyzer 205 27205 and I got 1.10 for SWR X is uh, a plus 5 in this case and R is uh, 46 again so I wasn't satisfied so what I did then is I just I went down here and took my analyzer outside and hooked it on to my A99 and with the RG8X uh, 14.5 feet at 27205 I got 1.20 I got X equals plus 9 and R equals 46 again and then I hooked it up and that's what I've got up there right now direct at 27205 with the analyzer I got 1.25 I got X plus 11 and R equal 46. Now I'm going to go up there and show you that on my analyzer. Uh, I'm hoping that this all works out. I've done this two or three times and didn't get my text right or didn't get my words right and I said some wrong things when I went in and checked it. But I'm going to, I'm going to back up here a little bit while I'm steady and show you my antenna. And if I don't get the sun too much in, in, in the way, maybe you all see that. Can you see that antenna there? That's the bottom of the A99. And it's got my analyzer. I can't see it. I got some of my, I see the analyzer there sticking out to the side of it. I got an elbow uh, connector and a, and a, a male female connector, a double uh, female connector hooked up to my VA1. That's my A99. It's painted black up against the trees here. It's not showing up too good, but that's it. Goes on up there. Maybe y'all can see that. Goes on up there to to 19 feet. I think I see the I think I see the tip of it in there, but I'm not real sure. I'll, I'm in bright sunlight over here. It's hotter than a two dollar cook stove. So, at any rate, let's see. I find it. There it is. I'm gonna walk over there to it if I don't stumble. I'm not too sure-footed anymore. And uh, I'm going to back off of that thing a little bit and try to get up close and close to it. And I'm going to reach over here and grab it with this hand so I can use my right hand. And I'm going to turn it on. Uh, I'm going to set it. I'm going to set it to frequency, and then I'm going to go up in the band. Let me get my right hand on there again. Go up there. Go up. Go up in the band to 27 megahertz.
I believe that's it, 27. And right now it's sitting at 27.18. I'm gonna try to turn it up a little bit to get it to 20. There's 20, 27.20. Now I'm going to show you the SWR. 1.25. The value of X shows plus 9. The value of R is showing 46, 45 or 46. It's difficult to see, maybe, because my analyzer is a little weak in those LEDs or whatever that is in there, that device. Uh, I don't even think I need to put the cable on there because the concern was is that this uh, and the purpose for this whole test was to show that there are some possibilities at least this creates a doubt whether that A99 absolutely has to have a feed line on there or else that match will go at a hill in a handbasket because it has no what everybody refers to stupidly as, a, as no counterpoise connected to the antenna. The other half of the antenna is totally missing without a piece of coax down there or a mast. I've got a, con I've got a metal mast under it. It's mounted on a metal mast, but you can also see that, I think you can see, get it up closer there. I'll, I'll show you. I'll get back up there again. Excuse me. And you can see now I've got that mounted. There's the metal mass part down here. There's the metal mass part down there. And you can see that, uh, that that's the plastic all in there. I got that antenna mounted to plastic. Let me get over here. Let me back up. So. Oh, you see? See, this is the metal mast here. Aluminum mast. And uh, here's my, whatever that, that plastic's called. And you see my antenna's hooked onto that, so I'm isolated. Some of them, some of them suggested that isolation had to be, and maybe that's the case. But I'm here to tell you I didn't do that before when I tested this. Oh, I've got to turn my meter off. I did this before when I tested this. I didn't isolate this A99. I, I got very, very similar results. That's what I've been claiming. That's what I claimed to uh, Northern 35 whenever he, uh, whenever he uh, decided that he was going to borrow A99 and test it. And uh, uh, so far, half months later. Still hadn't had no word from him. I guess he's still got rain going on up there. But at any rate, I'll I'll give him some more time. It takes a year maybe at the at his age. He might uh, get around to it and get someone to verify this. That's all I'm asking for. I don't want him to go to any special effort for me. I just want him to verify or not. When he did it before, he has produced results for it before. But when he did it before, he got some real wild ass results when he mounted. When he, when he uh, had his, uh, when he had his uh, device, his uh, analyzer connected, just like I've got mine connected, uh, what's called direct. I'm, I've got my analyzer directly connected to the antenna, no feed line. And when he did it, his results were off the chart. So I'm just telling you, this is what I see with my analyzer. And I'd just like to see what he gets with his analyzer. Or any of you guys out there that's got an analyzer, you can do the same thing if you just, if you make up a mind you want to do it or want to try to learn something by this. I don't know what the truth of the matter is about the A99. I've got a sense that the A99 has got something in its circuitry there that allows it to operate without uh, ground radials. It does not need a mast under it. You can isolate the mast and it'll work. It'll work with the mast. It, it, that antenna works surprisingly efficiently without anything that uh, all these uh, claims uh, come up with. Unless I'm missing something here, and it's possible, 
But unless I'm missing something, I just proved to you that that A99 does not need to have a piece of coax or a mast attached to it in order to get a good match. You saw the match didn't hardly change at all. Okay, well, that's about all I got to say on the subject. I'm just trying to get someone stimulated out there to do the do the testing uh, and, and try to duplicate what I've uh, attempted to do here. And uh, I'll check you all later. I've got to, got to run now. It's getting hotter than a two dollar cook stove, like I said, out here. This is old Grandpa Carpus Christie, Texas, broadcasting live and in color on your two-way radio. I'll see you.